really what is happening between the physical health system and the behavioral health system is that the systems are not communicating and talking. So if someone goes into a physical health setting with behavioral health issues, a lot of times what happens is, is that the behavioral health issues are not recognized nor brought up. A lot of um, health care organizations, particularly um, ours, do not address uh, the behavioral health at all whatsoever. It's mostly focused on uh, the medical issues, the medical treatment plans and how to implement those patients who have just medical issues. I think it's incredibly important to have these kind of learning sessions because we can't operate in a silo anymore that hasn't worked. So having everybody from all these different disciplines is really helpful in seeing what each person needs. And it's very important that community mental health starts to venture out into the community, letting people know what services are available, and then talking to people and figuring out where are the holes, where is a hole that possibly community mental health could plug, how do we need to all work together to provide holistic care for our patients in our community. A lot of people are having the same issues that I'm having. I, I, you know, sometimes you, there's such, you know, change in with the, the changes in healthcare, it's like turning around a big ship. And you don't necessarily know if you're doing it correctly, um, but it's good to see here that some things that we're trying have worked um, in the past uh, with other healthcare organizations. And the things that we're trying right now um, will work because they worked in other places. But it's also good to see that uh, people are having the same issues that you are. We are all stating the same problem lack of information no matter what level they're at if it's hospital if it's outpatient we're all saying the same thing so since we all know what each other needs we should address that that all of us need to work together we need to start talking to each other we need to start building those relationships so that we can make sure that patients we can communicate with each other so that patients get the kind of care that they need we're not seeing people go from an acute setting into the home and then bounce back again